Y'all, I'm just getting my melted butter out of the microwave that's been sitting in there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. Y'all, we're still doing these box cake mix hacks. This is another one that's been very highly requested. This Duncan Himes red velvet cake. And you guys, I thought it would be perfect because it's Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. So we're gonna do this one today. I've made some little adjustments to my ingredients and we're gonna see how this turns out, okay? So I'm gonna use one box of this Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Real Velvet Cake Mix. And you can use whatever kind of cake mix you prefer, I'm sure. I'll be using one cup of all-purpose flour. I have, and this time you guys, I'm gonna do half cup of sugar as opposed to the one cup. And let's see how that does, okay? So we're doing half cup of sugar and I have two tablespoons of my cocoa powder in here. And I've also added my half teaspoon of salt. That's in here as well, okay? What I'm gonna do differently today is I'm also gonna sift my dry ingredients to see if it makes a difference like in the texture because you know how sometimes well pretty much all the time with the box cake mixes the texture of the cake it kind of like has the little kind of spongy kind of has the holes in it so i'm going to see if i sift today if that'll make a difference one thing about doing these box cake mix hacks i think we'd be trying to make it quick and easy that's the whole point of it but we're going to sift that'll only take a few seconds and again see if that matters I have three large eggs here. They are room temperature. As you can see, they've already been cracked. We're going to use one cup of whole buttermilk. It is also room temperature. I have my one stick of melted unsalted butter. I have one fourth cup of oil and I've already said the salt we're gonna do a teaspoon of no tell no story honey we're gonna do a tablespoon at least of our vanilla extract and then because I'm adding the flour I know the box cake already has the little chocolatey flavor to it but my thought process is, y'all know I have to tell y'all what's in my mind, what I see in my mind. I feel like since I'm adding that one cup of flour to that box cake mix, that it's going to kind of diminish the chocolatey flavor, okay? So having said that, I'm gonna add probably a couple of dropper, dropper fulls of my chocolate flavor Laura Ann oil. You guys, I buy my oils, uh, my cream bouquet. I buy it locally at a cake supplier, Kitchen Cake Magic. Kitchen and cake are both spelled with a K. I mean, well, kitchen is spelled with a K anyway, but the cake part is spelled with a K also. Kitchen Cake Magic. And she doesn't have a website or anything where you can order, but that's where I get all of my Laura Ann oils and also my, my gel color. I'm going to use some super red gel color. I like a red, red color. Um, red velvet cake. I just don't care for it to look burgundy. I mean, it's okay. It's just my personal preference. When I say red velvet, I just expect for it to be red and not burgundy velvet. Yeah, And I know the chocolate makes it turn colors, but we're going to see if we can enhance that color. Get me as red as I like it with some red food color. So you guys, this is not necessary, nor is the chocolate oil. It's, it's totally not necessary. I just just want to do the most okay all right is that everything i'm gonna also bake this i'm loving it because you know i'm not using my heavy duty mixer oftentimes you guys ask me about this kenmore ovation uh, mixer the link to this mixer is in the description box below okay as well as all of my ingredients so you'll probably have to click on see more for everything to kind of open up 
and then you can um, have access to that. Let's see. I was going to do a chocolate ganache, but y'all know, I just feel like with red velvet, I've got to have cream cheese. Now, y'all know I don't like icing and cakes because I'm a glazed girl. But I'm going to have to use some of this cream cheese, make an icing. I'm going to try to do it kind of thick so I won't have to do a lot of spreading. I kind of maybe wanted to drizzle a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to try to make this icing process as quick and simple as possible. Because I don't like doing all that icing and trying to decorate, trying to make it look pretty. I just don't think I do a good good job icing and cakes. Okay? So, and it's a little time consuming for me. So, anywho, but we're doing the icing today. I'm going to use these three layer cake pans. Those of you that, you know, follow me, you already know these were the cake pans. That were my mom's. I grew up with these cake pans. They were well, well over 50 plus years old. And I have some bake even cake strips that I'm gonna wrap around those pans to help my mm, excuse me, help my layers to bake as evenly as possible. I think that's everything other than the fact that I have already washed my hands. Y'all stop being in the kitchen with nasty hands. I keep telling y'all that. Y'all, that's nasty. That's just nasty. Some of y'all keep on doing it. Oh, I almost forgot. I have one cup of coffee here. And it's right here on my list. One cup of coffee that is, um, I let it cool. So, y'all don't be putting hot coffee in there. Y'all see it? Y'all see it a little bit. Try not to spill it. One cup of coffee. Okay? That's everything. Um, I have my little sifter in here. Y'all, this, this came from my first mother-in-law. This was her sifter. Actually, uh, before she passed, when I got it, um, it still had some flour on it where she had used it. Ooh, y'all. This is why this is therapy for me because there are so many sentimental things that I use when I bake and when I cook in my kitchen. Like I say, my pans that, you know, my mom used when we were growing up and just, just several things. So this is what I'll be using to sift. And I'm going to bring you guys over here with me as I sift. I think that's everything. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. These cake layers are going to bake probably about 30 minutes. All right. So we're going to get everything sifted. This is, again, going to be another one of these dump cakes. Okay. We're just going to dump everything in. And then we're going to get it mixed up. I'm going to start with my dry ingredients first. And I'm going to get these. I'm going to get all that stuff sifted. So we're just going to add it to this sifter here, right over the bowl, and it's really not going to take long to do this. Again, this is my sugar, my cocoa powder, and my salt. Okay, and that's all of the dry ingredients. See that it doesn't take doesn't take long to do that at all. Okay. All right. Now we're just gonna let me get my eggs next. I'm just gonna mix these up. Just kind of break up these yolks. Mix it up a little bit. the eggs. This is the one fourth cup of oil. Y'all know what I just realized. Oh my goodness, because I'm thinking, alright, this is looking like um, that look like a whole lot of batter because I've not put the cake mix in here. That's looking real going to be a skimpy looking little cake. <laughs> I'm just going to put the cake mix right in here.
And I just wanted to do this live, if you will, and on camera. I didn't want to cut this because I want you to see how quick it is to sift. It really doesn't take long, okay? does not take long at all. Okay. All right. So now we're adding our melted butter, which is one stick. What else do we have? We have our buttermilk. One cup of coffee. Here we have our vanilla. We're going to add a tablespoon of it. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon or more. Our chocolate oil. We're going to add two dropperfuls of it. So one, two, and going to go on and add some of my super red. We're going to see I probably could have waited to see how chocolate we were looking, but look, it is what it is. How about that? Okay. So that's everything. That is everything. Now we're just going to get this mixed up. And make sure everything is thoroughly mixed up good. Let me see something before I do that. Let me just a little bit to see what we were looking like with the color looking like Valentine's Day or Christmas <laughs> all right we're gonna mix this for probably about two minutes to make sure like I said everything is mixed up really good and then once I'm done um, I'll mix a little bit more with my spatula. So truth be told, it's probably it's not going to be two minutes. It's, that's going to be too long. So we'll just mix it up for just a few minutes until I feel like I want to stop. Okay, so at least about 60 seconds to a minute though. <laughs> mix for at least a minute um, like I say I always do more mixing once I turn off my mixer so that's why I didn't mix the whole two minutes using the mixer 
All right, make sure you get these sides and scraping up under the bottom to make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Okay. I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pans with, wait a minute, I got some of that uh, mix on my finger. I thoroughly sprayed my pans with Baker's Joy. These are the Bake Even strips that are damp. I soak them in water at least about five minutes. Kind of wring them out so they're not dripping, but they are wet. When I put um, these cake pans in the oven, you will hear them sizzle because they're wet. All right. I know they make the pans now that really help your cakes to bake evenly. Um, I might get some of those one of these days, but honey, I really really love using my mom's cake pans okay and i say all the time i know i need to measure when i pour my layers to you know help me get them as even as possible but i don't do that listen if y'all have businesses and y'all selling cakes and baking cakes and selling and have bakeries y'all get those cake layers even okay I don't have to do all that because I'm not selling that nan cake. <laughs> okay. All right. Our oven is ready. Ready. And then once I get them poured, if I feel like one is just really, really has too much batter, I'll just, like this one right here, just take some of it out. Try to take it out without scraping um, your pan since you've sprayed it with your Baker's Joy or whatever you're using. This one ends up being the thinnest. I'll probably put it in the middle of my cake. You know, have it as the middle layer. Okay. Still look like too much in here. the door because you letting that all let preheated temperature okay all right so we're in there we're gonna set our timer for 13 minutes 
And then we'll be ready to take these layers. Not 49 minutes, honey. Okay, 30 minutes. Okay, we did bake for 30 minutes. sit here and cool get totally cool yeah this one a little wonky you see he a little higher on this side over here but it's okay it's so we're gonna cool and like totally cool because if not this icing is gonna run off in the meantime I'm gonna go on and whip up this icing really quick I'm using eight ounces of Cream cheese, and you know, it's just going to depend on how thick you want your icing. I'm going to add a little bit of my pure vanilla extract, and I'm going to start by just getting this. Um, probably going to add with a teaspoon or two. I'm going to start by getting the cream cheese whipped up by itself before I start adding my powdered sugar. And then I'm going to add just a little powdered sugar at a time. I'm, I know I'm going to use at least three cups. At least three cups of powdered sugar. And then I'll add a little more depending on how much, like I said, how thick I want it. I'm trying to make this icing process as easy as possible. Okay, so we're going to get this icing mixed up and then we're going to see. I think I may be able to. Ooh, we're going to go. I'm going to go on and uh, ooh, just get these cakes out and just let them sit like a spool. See the smoke? Y'all see the smoke? See the smoke? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. We'll let them totally cool while I'm doing that. I'll do the icing, and even after the icing is done, they're still going to have to cool some more. Okay. So y'all, I'm in the middle of trying to do my icing and, and my, my hand mixer wants to act up. Look, 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 look there. See, if I was doing a glaze, this wouldn't even be an issue. See here, look at that. Just thinking about it. Okay, let's go to plan B. I think I've probably gotten enough mixed up where I can maybe finish it by hand. But y'all, listen. Because <laughs> I don't want to pull out my big mixer. Ah, <sighs> Dios mios. Listen. But y'all, I'm telling you, I refuse. I'm not getting ready to put this in another bowl and use my stand mixer. I'm going to go on and finish this by hand. I won't torture you by making you watch <laughs> this real serious arm um, workout I'm getting ready to get. But also, y'all, y'all know I don't do icing much. I totally forgot to add my one stick of softened butter. Okay. 
So I have that here. Who y'all listen? I have my one stick of unsalted softened butter that I also need to add to my cream cheese icing. I bet some of you are saying, Miss Donna, don't forget the butter. <laughs> I'm glad I realized it. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I say, finish mixing this by hand. Um, definitely gonna add me some more powdered sugar. And then we'll get this mixed up and be ready to ice in these cake layers as soon as they're totally cool. Okay. Here is my cream cheese. Icing. Y'all, listen. Listen, let me tell you. I'm gonna put a little bit here on this here plate. Oh my goodness. Here we go, y'all. Let's get her done. Okay, this is this red velvet, this Duncan Hines red velvet box cake hack. You guys, I probably could have used a little bit more icing, but it's okay. I don't mind the rustic look like right there where you, you know, it's a little skimpy with the icing. Y'all know I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to ice in these cakes. I'm telling you, I'm a glaze girl, okay? What's most important is how it tastes. in the middle of me trying to make my ice and listen the devil is busy <laughs> well there it is you guys I can tell you right now this is a um, the icing is a, um, you just had some of this icing you just have some? Yeah, it's a, a, um, a ganache. It's good. Not real velvet. It's not real velvet? 
That's it. Mm -hmm. Have I ever had red bell? <laughs> yes, honey. Let me I taste am? it. It's good. Yes, I've fixed it? red bell before. What was that? Tastes like red bell. Never had red velvet. You have, honey. Y'all get him, please. That's burgundy velvet. Yep, see? That's funny. What? You sound like me. What is? It's soft. Is it moist to you? Yeah. It's real soft and moist. That's what I was saying. But oh, that's another box cake, though. But I added a cup of flour to it. And I say the same thing. And I don't think he's ever heard me say this. When I eat red velvet, I like for it to look red and not burgundy. Right. But this, not red velvet. The reason it looks burgundy because, you know, the, the box cake already had the color to it. I added some red to it, hoping I could make it look red, red. But I guess I couldn't. But yeah, see, I say the same. Y'all, he did not know I say that. I said, I'm when it's say red, I want it to look red, like red, red, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Now, can you taste more chocolate in that than the um, the devil's food? I was gonna say, yes, you can taste the chocolate. I was just gonna say that. Okay, it tastes like a chocolate. Okay, so you and then I added a little more chocolate. So, like I say, that's not necessary. You probably, and I'm, I'm glad I only did two dropper fulls of my chocolate oil. But, um, but it's really good. Uh, what else was I going to ask you? I sifted it. Um, okay, I sifted it. I don't know that I could. Oh, let me let y'all see. I don't know that I could really look at it. Can you tell? I don't think you can really necessarily see the difference in the um, texture. You know, it still has that little, I guess, the little spongy look or whatever. Um, I added less sugar i didn't do a cup i did a half it's sweet enough isn't it sweet enough to you babe yeah i think okay. i'm gonna i didn't have to go on a vacation i didn't put as much sugar so those of you that want less sugar i did a half a cup this time and it's fine so you don't need the it's sorry, sweet enough it is sweet enough so you don't have to have the um uh entire cup of sugar okay well, every time I eat one of these cakes, I want, I want some ice cream. I think it's the frosting. I think it's the icing. I really want it's some something about cream cheese icing that I want vanilla ice cream with. Yeah, you just want yeah. some ice cream with it. It's just, it's you going to look up or you going to do something or you just going to keep eating? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. I need the box. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No. Wait a minute, y'all. I guess I had to get my little head back out the way. I'm trying to get the lighting right. Anywho. I can't get it right, y'all. Wait a minute, babe. Come back. I'm standing on my tippy toes to, to look. Whatever. That's going to have to do. Um, that's good, y'all. Oh, and with the, the little decoration I tried to do on the top, y'all. I didn't show up because y'all listen. I, I'm be trying to ice in these cakes. Once I kind of, I didn't necessarily get it smooth, but then I just drug the knife across the top this way. Just drug it, drug it, drug it, drug it all the way down. And then went the opposite direction and drug it this way. And I drug the fork across the bottom of the plate. Can I, drug Baby, it, drug can it, drug it. Can I get one little bite before you? I don't want. I don't want all that. Um, that's too much. But I do need that little hunk of icing. Oh, let me see my little decoration on the top. Okay. That decoration, my little design. Ooh, made with rich cocoa. I think the last bite of the chocolate was in that last bite because it tastes chocolate. You can. That was good. So you taste a little bit of chocolate in this, then you do the devil's food. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it was good. The burgundy velvet. All right, on to 
the next hack. I don't know which one it'll be. I hope you'll have a very happy Valentine's Day. That's why you made red velvet because it's a Valentine's Day? Yeah. I'm gonna never put that together. I just. <laughs> You was goofy. Anyway, you guys, if you've not, well, first of all, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, Hit please the consider nosy. doing so. Hitting the nosy is turning nosy. on the notification bell. And when you do, it shakes. That's that shake sound. Shake sound. Shake sound. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Hit the nose. Hit the nose.